Hey what's up guys, it's XS Model Warfare here, Gamertab Badger Chicken and welcome back to another episode of Hardware Tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to be using a laptop hard drive as an internal Xbox 360 hard drive. Um, now I've been getting a lot of people saying on certain videos of mine, my JTAG tutorial series, um, I'm getting people saying that uh, they don't have their HDDX showing up or HDD1 and I tell them that's because you don't have an internal hard drive and they're like oh my JTAG never came with a hard drive um, I never thought to buy a hard drive with it because I thought an external hard drive would I could use that for all my games and stuff um, so you know with with multi-disc games and with playing original Xbox games and for storing your profiles and your XX menu and stuff like that um, you're best to have an internal drive, like a, a few of my tutorials cannot be followed if you don't have a hard drive, an internal one. So um, the good thing about JTAGs is you don't need a Microsoft Xbox 360 hard drive. A laptop hard drive that is 2.5 inch will do just fine, um, it will work just the same. And basically I don't have to show you how to format or do anything like that because the JTAG pretty much does everything for you, all you need is you, all you need to know is how to fit it. Um, so I'm going to show you how to fit this hard drive for a slim Xbox 360 and a fat Xbox 360. Um, so yeah. Uh, you, as for the for, file formats, when you buy a laptop hard drive new um, from the store it will probably be uh, not formatted to any file system so it will just be unallocated space. That will work fine, just slap it straight into your Xbox. Um, if it's NTFS format, um, then again that will be fine. Uh, if it's FAT32 format, then you may have problems. It might the Xbox might get confused and read it as a um, like a USB storage device. Um, so if that happens, then reformat it to NTFS or take the FAT32 format off it. So um, to do that, you would just plug this into your computer and go onto the file manager on Windows and you can format it that way. So um, yeah, anyway I'm just going to go and show you guys how you can install the laptop hard drive to the slim Xbox first and uh, then the fat Xbox afterwards. Okay guys, so once you've uh, confirmed that it is NTFS we can uh, go and install it to our console. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do this on a fat Xbox as well. This is an opened up slim um, Xbox 360 here. So if you have a look at the normal hard drive slot, this is the internal slot for the hard drive on my slim. You'd stick your normal hard drive in there and just pushes in, clips in and then you've got the little ribbon here that you can use to pull um, and that will disconnect it and you can take it out. Now the problem with a laptop hard drive on its own is it's not the right height. Um, if you put it in, if you have a look, if this was all sealed up, for example, and I put that in there, how am I going to get it out? You know, I can barely tuck, like, get my fingers in there to pull it back out um, when it's when it's sealed up. So um, what you can do, there's you've got two options. You can buy a shell. Um, a hard drive shell, um, so it doesn't have an actual hard drive in it, it's just the plastic shell that you buy and then you it'll come opened up and then you just stick this in it, stick your laptop hard drive in it, seal it back up again and then you can just connect it up as if it were just a normal Xbox drive. Now they are only a few dollars for just the plastic case so it is well worth it. Um, but if you don't have the time to do that, then we can just make some little adjustments to this to get it to fit in properly. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is use a little piece of um, paper folded up so it gives it a bit more thickness so the hard drive will be at the right height to fit into the slot. Um, and by, so what we can do is we basically take this, put the hard drive on the top like that so it gives it a bit more thickness and then you can slot that in and the hard drive should be able to just connect up like that and that's it connected. 
Now this, the problem we have though is of course if it was sealed up how are we going to pull it back out again? It's stuck in that slot. So what I do anyway is, I'll move this over a bit, what I'll do is get a bit of tape, preferably stronger tape like electrical tape or duct tape. Just take a bit off it and stick it on about there, like that. And now take it in on the paper and just push it in the slot. And now if we need to take it out again, you've got that bit of tape sticking out that you can pull and it will unplug. So you can do that way as well as a little improvisation if you want to do that or um, you can just get the hard drive case for it. But that is basically um, how you can get that installed on the JTAG. Um, before I go onto the actual JTAG and show you it uh, formatting it so that it will work as an internal storage devi device for your profiles and your um, homebrew apps and everything like XCX menu. Um, I'm also going to show you how to get it installed on a fat Xbox. Alright guys, so um, in order to get it to work in a fat Xbox 360 console, um, you need to get it inside one of these, um, obviously, because with the Slims, anyway, the, the inbuilt port uh, hard drive plug for the Slims is a SATA data and SATA power, um, which means you can just directly connect this hard drive onto it. The problem with the fat Xboxes is it uses this slot here. So, you know, it's basically an adapter from SATA power and SATA data to whatever this slot is. Um, so that's why we need to get ourselves one of these shells um, right here. Uh, you can get them ck3.co.uk, X consoles, I'll, I'll link them in the description. And um, you can also, I think they're XCM ones from ck3.co.uk, not actual Microsoft ones, but either way, um, there's pretty much the same thing. So um, um, you're gonna just put the hard drive in upside down. Um, you'll need to lift the back bit up to slide it in, a um, little plastic bit. Uh, you're gonna have to probably lift up the SATA port there to get it to plug in. And then you've got this metal grate, which um, likes to cut your skin. You want to just seal that over the drive, like that. And there are four screws. Uh, you can see them two there, and you've got two there. Um, so make sure that the hard drive aligns with the screws, and the shell um, aligns with the screws. I'm not going to put the screws in just now, uh, just to save time. Um, but there's these little black screws that uh, you'll be using uh, for these. And then for the actual plastic shell that goes over the top, you use these little Torex uh, metal screws. Okay, so at the front here, you've got this little plastic bit and this little plastic bit, along with a spring. Um, so the spring needs to go in here and then the plastic bit kind of goes over the top of that in the middle of the spring try and skewer this there we go and then we've got the, the little button bit on the top which goes on there and you see when I press that down it's moving that plastic bit in and out and now you just got the top shell which just sits over the top of it. So you put it on like that. Um, maybe zoom out a bit actually. There you go. So the top shell just goes over the top and it should just clip in. Mine's going to be a little awkward probably because I haven't got the screws in. Um, but no, that was pretty simple. That's it all connected up there. You can see that working now. But it's not entirely connected, but that's because I haven't got the screws in. But um, yeah, that is what you've got to do for that. 
and then you can just go ahead and just shove this in the console like that and that's it all hooked up and you'll be able to use your laptop hard drive on your RGH Okay guys, back over to the Xbox now. So what you're going to do is go over to system settings and go to storage. And it may sort of hang when you press A on storage like it's frozen, but just give it a few seconds. And you can see here it says it's unformatted. Now it may not say that for you, but it probably will. So if it does say unformatted, you just want to press A on it and press A to format. And say yes, you want to format the device. Now it's going to prompt it might prompt you to enter a serial number so that is the serial number of your xbox so if it does prompt you to enter the serial number you'll have to go back to your console settings go down to uh, system info and um, on system info you want to look at the top where it says console serial number just make a note of that serial number uh, note it down and then go back to the format in the hard drive and enter the serial number um, of the hard of the console in there. So that was my co my console serial number, and it will begin formatting the hard drive. Uh, if it doesn't ask you to enter the serial number, then don't worry about it. It will just go ahead and format the drive. And there we go. It's now showing up as an Xbox hard drive. It is only a 20 gigabyte hard drive that I've got in there at the moment, so it's only showing up as 13.8 uh, gigs free, but um, yeah, it's now a fully operational Xbox hard drive for which I can store my games on. I can store, well, not really my games, but I can store my profiles on there. I can create profiles and store them on the hard drive. It's got my HDD1 and HDDX partition. And it's also got, um, well, you know, you can store your, your XCX menu and, and stuff like that on. Just as if it was a, a real internal Xbox hard drive. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, comment if you have any questions, as you can see there the profile is showing up, and uh, yeah, I'll hopefully see you guys in my next video. Frankly my dear, I don't give a damn.